Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to the range just for velocities. Right now, these are some of the loads I'm working on. To my left, we are working with the 101 grain LRX and 257 Weatherby. If you've seen any of my previous videos, I'm getting insane velocities with Reloader 22 with okay accuracy. I think H1000, which is what I've loaded it up with this one, has more potential for accuracy. So we're going to see what kind of velocities I'm getting with H1000, because I think the accuracy could be better. I recently got some 110 grain AccuBonds, and my first group ever was a 0.8 inch group with it, which is a good sign. Usually my first groups aren't usually that good, and I have to work it, work it up. So today we're going to do a book max velocity from Nosler, 71 grains of IMR7828. I think it should be going around 3450 to 3500. Next, I haven't really talked about this one because it hasn't worked out great so far. I got some Acubon long ranges, 190 grain, and I'm testing them out in my 300 Weatherby. And so far my gun has not really liked it except for yesterday. I did get around a one inch group. So we're starting to see some progress. We're using H4831 SC and I'm just bumping it up a half grain. I really want to see the velocities. I'm expecting 3150 to 3200. And lastly, if you guys remember, I have my brother's Model 70 featherweight rifle that has been extremely picky. Well, it's a miracle I found another bullet it likes. It likes the 165 grain AccuBond. And that's what we're going to use for hunting going forward. And I'm just curious to see what kind of velocities I get. All right, small change of plans. Since I'm going out there to the range to test velocities, I'm going to bring a bench. I'm just going to shoot some groups too. So I loaded up for the 300 and the 257. I've already shot groups for the 30 out six, so I don't need to do more of that. So we're going to use the 190 grain AccuBonds long range. Hopefully we can get something sub him away. And then I'm hoping to get a little bit better groups with the 110 grain AccuBonds and the 257. So it should be fun. Get to see velocities and groups. So stay tuned. First up, 30 out six, 165 grain AccuBond. Let's see how fast it is. Twenty-seven oh eight. Not very good. One ninety grain Acubon long range. Eighty-two point five grains. H forty-eight thirty-one SC. Three thousand ninety-six feet per second. I made another one just in case the chronograph wasn't working. So here's shot two, same exact load, 190 Acubon long range. 3144, it's faster, but a terrible standard deviation so far. Okay, 257 Weatherby time. This is a 101 LRX with H1000, 72 and a half grains. 3696. Last and not least, the 110 grain Acubon. This is a max load with IMR 7828 SSC. 3653. Holy cow. 81 and a half grains of H4831. 
Okay, I just wanted to show you the first group of the 190 grain Acubon long range. Uh, velocity estimated maybe mid 3,000 feet per second. This is a grain under than what I just showed you on the chronograph. Um, well, not really happy. Let me. Yeah. Two kind of close, one really far out. It's kind of just been the story of these Acubon long ranges. 257 Weatherby, 70 grains of IMR 7828. blow my ears out. Okay, I'm just pulling up to the target, walking up really, to the target of the 110 grain Acubon. This is 70 grains of IMR 7828. So it's a grain below the velocity I showed you, which was 3,650-ish feet per second. So let me show you the group. Not what I wanted at all. Last group of the Acubon long range. This is the one I tested for velocity, 82 and a half grains of H4831 SC. Average velocity around probably 3120. Not a good SD at all. Let's see how it shoots. Second shot. Let's get one good group today. Last bullet, three shot group, with the 190 ABLR. A little spoiler, the first two shots are sub MOA, so crossing my fingers I don't screw up the third shot. Here is 82 and a half grains. That is close to sub MOA. I'm afraid that's going to be like a 1.2 inch group when I officially measure it. So it's better than 81 and a half, but still not where I want it to be, unfortunately. Last group with the 257 weather view. This is the one I did chronograph, so it's going over 3650. Let's hope it groups. Last one. First two are sub MOA. Just like the 300. Let's hope it turns out better than the 300. Okay, we are just pulling up to the last group of the 257 110 Acubond. And some good and bad. The group's, group's actually somewhat decent. Um, but there's pressure, so I don't know if I would use this. There it is. I think that's gonna be right at an inch. I'll measure it and show you in a second. A little bittersweet. I think there's a little too much pressure with this load. So I don't think I'm gonna be using it, but um, it's sub MOA and it's blazing fast for a 110 grain bullet. And then the velocity I did get, average 3120, was not a good SD. And the group was worse than I, thought it would be. I thought it was going to be like a 1.2 inch group, but it's an inch and a half. So we're just going to have to do some more testing with this. Velocity is okay. I really want it a little bit faster though. Okay, so not exactly the range day I was hoping for. I mean, it was okay. Uh, a little disappointing with the 300 Weatherby, but uh, it happens, you know, not every range day you're getting amazing groups. So we're going to keep working on it and hey, a bad range day is still a great day. So thanks for watching and have a great day.